Hello, this is Darren Keel from the Technology Department. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a zoom effect in PowerPoint. First thing you need to do is go find your picture. So I'm using transmission out of car right now. Copy that picture and paste that onto a blank slide. Make that a little larger so it fills the screen. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take an image, a snip of the portion that I would like to zoom in on. There's lots of different ways you can do this, but I'm using the snipping tool, and I'll do a new rectangular snip, and I would like just this area right here. As you see, that didn't come out so nice. I can do that again. Let me try that one more time. New rectangular snip, and there we go. Okay, so that's what I want. I'm going to copy that. Maybe I'll bring that into PowerPoint on a new slide. Let's do a new blank slide. Paste that on there. I'd like to end up being bigger than that. So I could zoom that in. Um, and copy that again. So now I have a little bit larger zoomed in image. Okay, and go back to my original thing. So first thing I would do is I'm going to take this picture that I have and I am going to shrink it down and get it out of the way. So click on it. Over here you have the custom animation toolbar. If that's not on your screen, you can get that by going to animations and clicking on custom animation. That'll turn that on and off. Okay, so once it's on, click on your large picture and we are going to shrink that down under emphasis. We can do, choose grow shrink and I'm going to make it tiny. And now I want to get that out of the way so I can get my other picture in there to look nice. So I want this to happen on, I'm going to click, it's going to shrink, and now I'm going to do maybe a motion path down to the right. So that's going to take it down there. And let's have that automatically happen after it shrinks. So I'm going to choose after previous. So now it shrinks down, takes it down and out of the way. Now I want to bring in my next picture. So I'm going to paste in that copied image and you can decide if you want to try to line this up right on top of your other picture or you can sort of hide it off the screen and we can have that when you click we can have that come in I'll do a custom path this time so we're going to start over here Oops. add effect let's try that again draw a custom path let's draw a line so going to come in to the middle okay something like that and then maybe I even want it to get bigger than that so I can do um, emphasis and I can shrink or grow and I can have that grow to be whatever size I want it to be I'm going to go to 200 percent and this last effect I don't want to click for that to happen I'm going to have it right after it comes in so let me show you what I have right now when I click it shrinks down and moves out of the way. When I click again, that comes in and gets even bigger. I want to maybe center that a little bit so I can go and play around with those things and get that exactly the way I want by dragging this over more towards the middle. Test it out and see what it looks like. There we go. That was kind of nice. It covered up most of that other picture. And that gives you a general idea of the how you can get a zooming effect. You know, some things to think about. This picture that I have is a pretty nice, clean picture. Uh, the higher resolution picture you have, the better that's going to be when you zoom in. Okay, I hope this helps. Thank you.